All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. The trade deadline is just a few days away. We're back at it with another Lakers trade rumor video. Kind of playing around here with this one because I don't particularly see Carl Anthony Towns getting traded this season. I don't even know if he'll get traded next season, but I, th I do it, man. I love playing around with these trades. I don't know what it is with Lakers trades as well. I just think they're so fascinating. They're just absolutely fascinating. So this first trade here, Carl Anthony Towns for Dennis Schroeder, Trez, Wesley Matthews, and their 2027 first round draft pick. I don't think Minnesota would, would do this deal this year. I, I think they would need a falling out with Carl Anthony Towns in order for something like this to happen anytime soon. It's just really fun to play around with, oh my goodness, what if LeBron, what if AD, what if this Lakers squad found a way to put a package together for Carl Anthony Towns? I think they're on the right path. But Dennis Schroeder, Trez, they just value wise, they don't they don't get it done for me. If I'm the T Wolves, I, I only one first round pick. I think any trade where I am getting rid of Carl Anthony Towns, I think that it's going to have to be a several team trade unless unless the team doing the trading has just a whole plethora of first round picks. Kind of like the Houston Rockets. But definitely not the Los Angeles Lakers because the only first round pick that they have anytime soon is 2027 to trade away. So that's kind of a no go. I don't see this trade happening this season. But let's just play around with this next one. You guys know I'm from Chicago. So Zach Levine rumblings. They're rumblings. I think that the Chicago Bulls will be buyers, if anything, at the deadline. I don't think that they actually make any moves. I keep flipping my stance on, on the Bulls' deadline plans, but I think, if anything, they would definitely help Zach Levine. I, I, don't, I don't think they would trade Zach Levine. And especially looking at this trade, I don't think this is enough value to get Zach either. I think it would have to be a three-team trade where – just first round picks are going to have to be involved and maybe a contending team to ship out KCP and Wesley Matthews too. I don't even think Wesley Matthews should be in this trade. I think it should be like Trez or somebody else. But THT is interesting. If the Bulls somehow rolled the dice on this trade, it would 100% be they're super high on THT. Like Taylor, I, I think he's a good player. I think he will develop into a, a good player player I, I don't know if he'll be a star i don't know if he'll be a superstar but lakers fans are so big on him like they are huge on this guy so i know it might seem like they're not giving up too much but a lot of lakers fans do not want to give up tht unless they are getting back a guaranteed star which zach levine is so like i said man i don't think the bulls do this trade because zach levine hasn't made it known he wants out of chicago he hasn't said hey i want out of chicago or trade me get me some help put me on a contending team but i think the los angeles lakers definitely need to make a move hassan whiteside as well is another possible option i've been talking about a second round pick and alfonso mckinney for hassan whiteside that way the kings they get a pick they get a young player you get your value for whiteside the only issue is with the kings i don't know why whiteside's on the on the kings to begin with and then i also don't know why the kings are so stubborn with him 15 minutes 20 minutes that's kind of the absolute max you'll see from Whiteside unless somebody is hurt and Whiteside gets like a spot start or something if they're trying to raise his value which he's been playing the last couple of games they're definitely they're, they're also shorthanded at the big man position but definitely could be testing uh, to see his value to try to get him to raise his value but McKinney and a second round pick I think would get the deal done for Hassan Whiteside and I know Hassan Whiteside's defense is extremely iffy but anytime you have Anthony Davis out on that court he's such a good player he's such a good defender that I think I think it will make up for it. We're only talking 15, 20 minutes a night here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, trying to get as many of these videos, these trade rumors, these possible trade 
hypothetical videos as I possibly can. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, hit the sub button. I appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you guys later.